Okay, today is Monday, June 29th, and I'm heading back to the Department of Emergency Management. Uh, if you've been watching the videos, you noticed, you know, the 218 and 224 incident involving, you know, all of this and how, you know, uh, medical law is not enforced and everything else. Now, I want to point out the right half of the equation, the fact that they're not following ADA law or any of these kind of things also. So, uh, some stuff off the web. Uh, this is from the city and county of uh, San Francisco uh, regarding their ADA program and compliance, city and county of San Francisco. Introduction, the Americans with Disability Act of 1990 is a civil right law that ensures people with physical, mental, visible, or invisible disabilities have an equal opportunity to participate in all areas of life. The, the right of people with disabilities are protected in the areas of employment, life, civic life, transportation, telecommunications, and the private sector. Okay, uh, next paragraph, Title II of ADA describes the type of access required to ensure that individuals with disabilities can fully participate in programs, services, and activities provided by local municipalities such as that of the city of San Francisco or state government. Uh, most of us think of disability access in terms of concrete adap adaptations to physical environments. Examples include building ramps in buildings, uh, installing elevators, curb ramps on sidewalks, wide hallways, or power door operators. Okay, next sentence is very crucial. Although, although these are important architectural accessibility features, they are not enough to ensure access to programs, services, or activities. Uh, it's an admission. The next paragraph, the ADA mandates that the city should also be usable by people with disabilities. Uh, usability can be enhanced by specific policies and procedures that level the playing field and allow the individual with disabilities to participate more effectively. You have to think about it in the terms of what my condition is, the sign confession that I have, and the inhumanity, you know, uh, that's gone along with it the reason for my videotaping and protecting myself under my ADA condition and, you know, what I've received so far. Okay, the next line. More specifically, public entities are required to provide reasonable modifications to policies and practices and procedures and auxiliary aids and services to ensure effective communication. Now, um, to me, effective communication means, you know, the truth, not fixing the narrative, not anything else that's been happening if you've been watching the videos. Next paragraph, the city and county of San Francisco is committed to ensuring program compliance through this provision of reasonable modifications or accommodations through policies, practices, and procedures such as service and support animals and auxiliary aids and services to ensure effective communications. One of our departmental public counters, uh, I'm sorry, on many of our departmental counters you will see the following sign. Okay, this following sign is what I video recorded at OCC, uh, the police department, etc., etc. It says right here underneath it. Program compliance sign. This means our staff will make an effort to alter a policy if possible in order to accommodate a person's disability so long as that accommodation does not fundamentally alter the program. So, wow. You know, have I been allowed to videotape? Have I been, you know, not harmed by all their incorrect policies? Has there been a provision made to me under ADA with my specifically telling them, you know, of my request under programmatic access? Has there been any advocacy for this disabled person? Well, look at the videos and find out. In addition, our staff can arrange to provide you with services on an alternative format to ensure that you are able to communicate with us. Wow! I can't give my complaint at OCC. You know, I can't meet with the sheriff at the sheriff's department over the rig procedure. I can't meet with the chief of police. You know, I requested ADA help at all these places. And I think I was told by the sheriff's department and the San Francisco police department that their ADA people is only for their department. Learn the games. Watch the inhumanity. Now, when you flip the page on this, you will see, you know, oh, some of the requirements are Reasonable policy modification, effective communication, well, you know, and ADA coordination. We have not been able to receive any ADA coordination, you know. Now, you flip the page and it gives you all the ADA coordinators at each and every department. And I'm going to follow up with each and every one of them today to show you.
you know, how this is the left hand, you know, with the right hand, not doing what's required and what's proper. Now, I also downloaded commonly asked questions about the American Disability Act and law enforcement from the Department of Justice, and it says the exact same thing. You know, it says... Uh, the ADA requires law enforcement agencies to make reasonable modifications in their policies, practices, and procedures that are necessary to ensure accessibility for individuals with disabilities unless such a modification would fundamentally alter the program or service involved. Have I been allowed to give my complaint at the OCC? How would that alter the service if they're having an audio tape of it made and I'm only asking to videotape it? Have, have, have I met with any of the ADA people that I've requested so that I could show them all my videotapes and how it's set to fail? No. Have, has the, the San Francisco Police Department with their CIT officer followed up? No, but I'll be following up on that. Uh, so it just goes to show you. They'll give you an example here. There's lots of examples, but if you need this, this is at uh, www.ada.gov. So, let me turn this off so that I can go to the first place, which is the Department of Emergency Management, and speak with their ADA person, you know, in regard to the Code 800, everything that I'd IDR'd them for, and, you know, how it's not really been responsive to my qu questions as far as training, you know, making sure that everything was correct, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That person supposedly, you know, from the uh, website is, you know, at here, I'm sorry, you know, the person I'm trying to get a hold of is the uh, emergency management ADA person for access issues. So let's see what I get.